Okay, well today I have a real, real interesting project for you. This is a 16 millimeter film that was brought to me today. Uh, I saw it about uh, three or four days ago. Uh, it has uh, been stored in a container for since 1939 or so and it uh, turned to vinegar inside the canister and the gentleman that owned the film uh, took it back home and re did it because the reel itself was uh, just kind of corroded and all into just nasty stuff so anyway um, he took it off that reel put it to another reel and then did it back to another reel so that we could end up being able to uh, try and, and save this film. Um, of course, uh, as you know, I'm using the uh, Universal Mark I, which doesn't have sprocket holes. He tried to get this done before, but uh, he took it to somebody that was using that. So anyway, uh, he couldn't get it done. So anyway, he brought it to me, and uh, uh, I'm going to show you a picture and let you see the film before I start it. Okay? Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, this film is really just um, something that I don't really know how it's going to turn out, but this machine is an archival machine, so it doesn't need the sprocket holes, and uh, I'm going to have to see just what's going on here. So um, let me uh, get back to you. I'll show you what's happening, and then I'll get back to you. Well, I'm running this 16 millimeter film today that is just really totally warped and it is really just a mess. Okay, so I'm back to you now and what I got to tell you is that what happened here is the film turned out to be uh, pretty good. Uh, we did have uh, a lot of really warped film at the beginning, uh, but it got better as it went down, as you can probably see on that reel. I'll show you the end results of this film when I get done with it, but uh, I showed you a picture of how the film was warped, and I'll go back and show you the beginning of this. It got better as you got past all the stuff that was out in the open who uh, turned into vinaigrette. Uh, so anyway, uh, we did get some stuff that was flatter as we went along. One of the issues was that um, with this film being warped, um, it wanted to go back and forth in the uh, guides so that it just uh, couldn't be really stable. So what I did was after, by the way, it, it broke one time, so I had to put it back together. Uh, but uh, I went on and, and did it and it turned out good. So um, this is uh, one of the things that uh, I think everybody should realize that uh, the machine that I have is capable of doing things that just can't be done by other machines. Uh, this was a double, double sprocket hole job, so in other words, this was silent. So um, this was actually run in a cartridge. If you've never seen that, that's a, kind of an interesting thing for you to look at sometime. Uh, this was in a cartridge camera, and uh, there are 50-foot rolls and uh, it looks just like the, the double sprocket that you see here and they're in canisters and someday I'll uh, get involved in showing you that canister film that this came out of. It comes out of the canister and then is uh, developed and then rolled back up onto a reel just like we're seeing here and then uh, everything is you know uh, 
framed together and spliced together and it becomes a longer film uh, because you know 50 feet of film eight millimeters not lasting very long so anyway um, I'm going to show you a, a little piece of what I've done because you know it gets really boring to to watch the whole thing And uh, if you know somebody that has film like this that wants to have it saved, um, I'll save the film for them. So um, I think we ended up with a pretty good thing, you know, considering what you're looking at here. I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is really ugly stuff, okay? So uh, we'll get back to you and uh, we'll see what happens to you. Give me your opinion on if you think you could ever do anything better than this, okay? Hey, Pop signing out. Have a good day.